Okay, so we have to find the Laplace transform of the hyperbolic cosine squared of kt. So to do this, we're going to use the definition of the hyperbolic cosine. So recall that the hyperbolic cosine of, say, x is equal to, well, it's the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. So it's e to the x plus e to the negative x. And it's all divided by 2. So in this problem here, we have uh, the hyperbolic cosine of kt, and it's squared. So let's work that out. So this would be the hyperbolic cosine of kt. And you just replace all of the x's with kt's. So it would be e to the kt plus e to the negative kt, all divided by 2. All right, so now we have to square this. So if we square this side and we square this side, well, we can square the 2 and pull out a 1 fourth because 2 squared is 4. We can write it like this, e to the kt plus e to the negative kt, and then this piece here is squared. So this is equal to 1 fourth. Now, there's a formula you can use to uh, multiply stuff like this out. If you have a plus b parentheses squared, the formula says you square the first one, and you multiply the a and the b, and you double it, and then you square the last one. So here we're going to square this exponential, so it'll be e to the kt squared, like this, plus 2ab, this is your a, this is your b, so 2e to the kt, e to the negative kt, plus, and then you square the last one, so e to the negative kt, and then this piece here is also squared. All right, so this is equal to 1 fourth. Here, um, you can use properties of exponents. Basically, you just multiply. So 2 times kt would be e to the 2kt. These cancel, really nice, plus 2, plus, and then here, same thing, properties of exponents. So that'll give us e to the negative um, 2kt. Okay, let's go ahead and um, write this down, write down the Laplace transform. So let's take the Laplace, let's write down the notation. We're going to go ahead and distribute the 1 fourth into each term. So 1 fourth e to the 2 kt. And then 1 fourth times 2 is going to give us 1 half. So 1 over 2. And then 1 fourth times e to the negative 2 kt is just, uh, well, it's just that. It's just 1 fourth e to the negative 2 kt. All right, and then uh, the Laplace transform is linear, so we can just take the Laplace of uh, each piece. So we can pull out the 1 fourth, Laplace, e to the 2 kt, plus 1 half. You can pull out the 1 half and just write it as the Laplace of 1. Then pull out the 1 fourth here at the end, so 1 fourth, Laplace, e to the negative 2 kt. So not a hard problem, it just takes a little bit of time and you know you just have to go through and use this definition of the hyperbolic cosine. All right, now we're gonna use some formulas. Um, the formula for the Laplace transform of e to the at is given by one over uh, s minus a. That's my s, it's a cursive s. If you want a regular s, I can try it, let's see. Yeah, it's not so bad, s minus a. And then the Laplace of 1, that's equal to 1 over s. So here, uh, for the first one, we'll get 1 fourth. And it'll be 1 over, and then so our a is 2k here. It's a little bit weird. So it's s minus 2k plus 1 half. And the Laplace of 1 is 1 over s, so 1 over s and then plus one over four, and then our a is negative 2k, so when you do s minus negative 2k, it's actually gonna become a plus, so it's actually s plus 
2K. And that would be uh, the final answer to this problem. Kind of a of an interesting problem. I got this from some, some random book. Um, kind of different than a lot of the other Laplace transforms uh, that you encounter. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Good luck.